Hi, welcome to Live True with JT. I'm JT. I am uh, training to go to the Grand Canyon. My goal is to do rim to rim to rim, and I'm trying to do it in 16 hours. Been working on that goal for a while. If you're new to the channel, that's kind of what this channel is about. It is April 23rd, Saturday, a little after seven o'clock in the morning. I'm here with my son, Jacob, and uh, we are on Mount Ord, Mount Ord, Arizona. We just started, oh, we got here about, I don't know, a little after six, a little bit uh, closer to, probably closer to 6.30. And we're just starting our ascent. Mount Ord is about, and it's about seven miles. We started at the base. It's about seven miles, seven and some change up to the top, about, I think it's 4,000, might be 3,800, I don't know, something like that. Elevation gain, it's very similar to the elevation change on one of the rims of the Grand Canyon. Not quite, pretty close. This is a great place to train for the Grand Canyon. Speaking of the Grand Canyon, Carl Dobbins, his brother Joe Dobbins, and his nephew, Nathan Dobbins. <laughs> They're all in the Grand Canyon today. Good morning, it's uh, April 23rd. Happy to be back at the canyon this morning with Carl and Nathan. We're gonna have a great day, doing a little down and out. Uh, down Kaibab South and out Bright Angel. Going down to the river and back up, where we call it a down and up. Rim to river to rim. And uh, I was gonna go, but schedule had a scheduling conflict and then, uh, so I wasn't able to. So I'm here this morning. They left yesterday afternoon and they should be headed down South Kaibab right now. Um, so I'm anxious to hear how they do. That's pretty cool. We are moving our rim to rim, our R3 date to likely the week of the 27th or the weekend of the 27th of May. Um, just some scheduling stuff again. And so, here we are today, Jacob and I, hiking up this mountain. It's beautiful, it's like, there are, it's like spring is in full bloom. I thought that I'd missed all the beautiful wildflowers. I haven't seen as many up there over at, uh, you know, it depends on the year. Sometimes it's just a lot more than others out there in the desert. Santan Mountain Regional Park, where I usually go. Up here, oh, wow. There are so many flowers, so many colors. And like just now, I saw one I hadn't seen yet today. And uh, you look around like, oh, I haven't seen that one yet. And the colors are super vibrant. It's amazing. And what I love about that is, none of these plants are genetically altered. None of them are GMO, genetically mod modified. And in their natural state, oh, they're so beautiful. And it's just, it's just really cool. You know, it uh, kind of, to me, it kind of symbolizes life. And out in this sort of rugged, rugged territory, um, it's just nice to see the contrast, you know? And um, if you think about life, life, there is a lot of contrast because there's a lot of challenging, difficult, horrible things around us. But if you have an eye to see, there's also a lot of beauty and good and positive things around us. And a lot of it is what do we choose to focus on. Jacob just said, I have a love-hate relationship with hiking. And I said, Jacob, what do you hate about hiking? And you said, the hiking. <laughs> and I said, what do you love about the hiking? And he said, the hiking. <laughs> so explain to everyone what you mean by that, Jacob. Love-hate relationship with hiking. Well, on one hand, the scenery is incredible. That's always really cool. On the other hand, I'm hot, sweaty, really tired. And my butt hurts. So there's that. <laughs> Hence the love the scenery, hate the way my body feels. And every time I go, I'm like, why do people do this to themselves? Yeah, Jacob hasn't been doing a lot of uphill like I have, so he's feeling it, feeling it. 
and his legs. This stupid and this, he called it his posterior chain. <laughs> posterior, posterior. Okay. But I love that we are, we've left the road behind us. So I don't know, I no longer hear the sound of the freeway. It's a lot more green this year than last year. I was up here last year. You can go check the videos if you want to. And there was a fire that came through here a few years ago. And we're seeing the area recover from year to year is pretty fun. I mean, all the trees, the trees are still like dead, you know, burnt. They look like uh, skeletons, tree skeletons, but then there's green growing all around. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. All I know, I'm taking a nap when I get home. Okay, so we've done about five, about five miles. We're about three miles away from the top. We stopped to take a little break. Jacob's enjoying his sandwich. And uh, in just a few minutes, we're gonna head back up. And it's really cool because we've come out of the, the uh, low chaparral sort of shrub zone and we've, we're getting up into the, the tree line. We're getting up into the trees, you can see behind me. And uh, it's pretty cool. Well, we are topping out on the top of Mount Ord, and we we're just saying it's so awesome. Oh, there's a nice cool breeze up here. It's probably, I don't know, low 60s, probably around there, maybe mid 60s. It's so nice and cool. And to look out over that barren land that you can see out there, the mountainous, rugged terrain, and, um, just wow and feel a cool breeze <laughs> it's awesome when you live in the air when you live in arizona when you live in arizona you live in the desert it's so you just learn to appreciate a cool breeze because it's very surreal to look out there and not feel a warm breeze or a blistering hot breeze oh but this is so nice up here we're getting near all these like towers, cell towers, lookout towers, a bunch of different towers. I know that's going to affect the GoPro. So I'm going to put this away and we're going to take a break and then we're going to head back down. All right. Well, we're almost to the parking lot. It's been a good day. I'm going to, we're going to finish our, our video for today right here because when we get down there, the cars are too loud. So we will by the time we get down to the parking lot, which is just less than half a mile, we'll have done about 15.6 miles and uh, about 4,000 feet of elevation gain. It's been awesome. We still have a nice cool breeze, which is nice. It's the end of April and it can easily be really hot, but uh, it's been nice and cool today and uh, it's been a great day. And uh, we'll see you next time. Good morning. I'm back at Mount Ord. It's Saturday, April 30th. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. I got up <laughs> at 3.30. You know how when you wake up just before your alarm goes off? Uh, I woke up at 3.24. And I thought, oh, I've got six more minutes. So I turned off my alarm, closed my eyes, and next thing, next time I opened them, it was four o'clock. So I slept another 
half an hour. I wanted to get up here a little bit earlier, but uh, uh, I got up here, oh, I think it was about a little bit before six. Well, uh, just before six, like 5.45 or something like that. And I, I did a little something a little different this time. I know uh, usually I go down to the bottom, take the freeway, get to the base of the mountain and start right there. Today I came across on, there's a sign on 87 for Mount Ord. You turn right and you cut across the mountain on a dirt road and you can park right below, which is about two, about three miles away from the top. So I parked there, I went down to the bottom. My thought was, okay, today I'm gonna do this twice. I'll start in the middle, go down, go to the top, then go all the way down, go back to the top, come back down to the car and be done. Well, I am not doing very well today. Going down was just fine. And I, and I have to say, I thought it was gonna be easy. Um, last week wasn't that hard and it was fun. Um, it was, wasn't like, it was mi moderately challenging, but it wasn't really that hard. And I thought, okay, you know, I can do this twice, no big deal. Um, uh, but I'm not doing very well. I just didn't get a lot of sleep this week and I've been kind of under a lot, a little bit of stress, a lot of stress, I don't know, stressing about different things, work and stuff like that. And uh, man, coming back up, I just, I just hit the wall. And uh, I don't know if I'm just not fully recovered from last week. I think it's just lack of sleep, not fully recovered because of that and because of the stress and stuff. Um, so I was honestly very tempted just to, to skip this part, like just to call it a day. And I've done a little over 10 miles, turn around, go home, but I'm gonna at least go to the top. I'll go back down to the car, which is right in the middle here, um, down this road behind me. And then I'll decide what am I gonna do, what I'm gonna do then. Likely, I'm gonna call it a day because, and I just don't, I'm not feeling good. I don't think it has anything to do with fitness. I think I'm just, just haven't recovered. I'm just uh, fatigued from just not getting enough sleep. I'm going significantly faster today than I did last, than we did last week, but you know, that's, that's okay. Um, that certainly makes a difference, but it's not that. I know it's not that. And so, ah, man, it's frustrating. But I, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. It is what it is. It's like, you know, every once in a while, you just don't have a good day. And that's how it goes. You just gotta do the best you can. And, you know, one step at a time and then hopefully hope for a better day the next time. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's still beautiful out here, I love it. It's unbelievable, all the spring flowers everywhere. It's amazing. And uh, I love it being in the tree line up here. We're up in the trees, past the tree line. And I'm um, looking forward to getting to the top and I'm looking forward to turning around. <laughs> All right, well, that's what's going on today. And I'll, I'll check back in with you in a little bit. All right, so I just got to the top. Enjoyed the view a little bit. This nice cool breeze. That's what, one thing I love about it. This place is just, they're cooler temperatures, right? It's the last day of April. And uh, I'm sure it'll get uh, warmer later in the afternoon, but it's just a little cooler than it is down in the valley. And I like it. I, I'm gonna go back down 
And I think I am going to call it a day. I was going to, my plan today was to do quite a bit more, like twice as much. But, you know, I've had something to eat. I've had electrolytes. I've got, I'm hydrated. Uh, I'm just not, I just don't feel that great. No, I just have no energy and it's not, not fun. I love being out here. I enjoy the views. I enjoy the outdoors. That's a reward in and of itself. Um, but I just don't feel like doing the grind today. Uh, my body just doesn't want to go. So I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go home. And um, I mean, that said, it's been a great day. I've had a pretty good workout. I will uh, finish in a pretty decent time. I've had a pretty good pace, actually. I think in the high, like, 1740 range, something like that. Uh, I don't know, maybe it'll be different when I'm done. But overall, that's a pretty good pace. Um, it's probably where I should be this time of year. And uh, But uh, my biggest concern is I haven't had any big, big mile days. Um, today's supposed to be one of those but it's it's turning out like it's not going to be so um we'll see i mean there's next week and uh we're, we've decided to push the our canyon adventure out to the 20 weekend of the 27th um schedules just uh align better for that weekend i'm not going to do it in june so if we don't do it then then i'm gonna i will wait till we'll wait until the fall because i know carl doesn't want to do it in june either because it just gets too hot. So, I don't know, that's how it's, that's the update for today. It's a beautiful day. It's wonderful up here. I love this mountain. It's just so cool. Um, you get a lot of different, you know, when you're down lower, it's kind of a low, kind of a scrub. Um, chaparral has its own look and its own appeal and then you get higher up into the elevation cooler temperatures um, big green trees pine trees and juniper trees and oak trees and uh, the beautiful view nice uh, cooler temperatures I probably already said that but um, just a beautiful place so I am going to get back to it hope you have a wonderful day and a great and an amazing week